Hey folks, uh, today we're chatting with Carl Richards. Uh, Carl is a certified financial planner, actually lives down in uh, Utah right now. And uh, he's the creator of the Sketch Guy column that you might have seen on uh, the New York Times. It was published there uh, every week, a weekly contributor for over 10 years. Uh, today we got to chat with them about uh, how we can make complex things more simple. So, Carl, there's uh, there's a lot of crazy things that go on in uh, in our world, and there's a lot of uh, a, a lot of people who seem to be adding to a, a noise. And in, in 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 that crazy world, there are some people who are able to filter through that noise and find the little nuggets of of wisdom or the the little nuggets of uh, of relevance and make 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 things simple. Is that a lost art? Is, is, does, is anyone else do that? Because when I when I when I see your work, uh, again published in, in the New York Times and, and all that, like they're really they're they're complex ideas made simple. Yeah, that's such a good question. Thank you for asking. It's one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite things to do, really. I guess, for lack of a better term. Um, is to take something, so it's interesting, and I think all of the people listening can sort of relate to this these days, and let's just stick with money for a minute, like we'll just talk about how money gets complex so fast, because, but I think it applies to a lot of other things in our lives, but like if you just go, and first of all, it was really fun to be introduced as living down there in Utah, <laughs> most of the time, Utah, Park City, particularly the mountains, is up. So it was great. So um, it's super fun to talk to somebody up north. Um, but I'm sure it's true where you are as well, that if I just go to open a bank account, you know, you just think, oh, I just got to open a bank account. And then suddenly it's like, oh, I got to go to the thing and I got to have the right ID and I've got to have this and I got to, and, and let alone like an investment account or I want to think through how to save, like get to specific, like which investment should I use? How about just something as simple as budgeting? Like how many budgeting books do you need to buy before you can figure out the way to budget? Like, so what ends up happening a lot, I think of it as if, if I were to draw this, and I've done a lot of art on the radio, but we may even just cheat and use this book here. Um, so I'll, I'll sort of just show that really closely. You know, you, you think this is just gonna be this easy decision, right? So you start along the process, and as we go, we start along the front, like, oh, I just need to invest some money. Then suddenly we hit that like ball of yarn, it almost looks like. You start to consider like the edge cases and the nuance and the exceptions. And, and in the middle of all that, it feels really confusing. If you've ever bought a new pair of sh running shoes and you've read reviews on Amazon, you know what I'm talking about. You, like, you don't leave reading the reviews with more clarity. You leave more confused. So that's that process. And I used to think, I used to think it, that the fact that I was more confused meant I was doing something wrong. I've now realized that's called research, right? Like that's just called doing the... So if you feel confused about making these decisions, instead of getting a little panicked and thinking, forget it, or I'm doing something wrong, I just think, oh, this is part of the process. And then, and, and I think to your question, like, is it a lost art? I think the dilemma is it's hard work. Most people don't want to do this hard work. So they write, you know, 226 page books or 400 page books when they could have written a, a blog post or a white paper. And so <clears throat> I love the idea of taking all that edge case and nuance, going into the confusing part. John Bogle actually said that um, to... Often to get to simplicity, you have to cut through large swaths of complexity, right? And my other favorite quote is Oliver Wendell Holmes, who said, I wouldn't give a fig for the simplicity on this side of complexity, but I'd give my, and there's some dis dispute among whether he said arm or, or my right arm or my life. I like right arm. I'd give my right arm for the simplicity on the other side of complexity. And so you know you're dealing with somebody who knows their way around money when they can say things like given everything I know about you. Right? And all the other all the things going on in your life, 
this is what I would do. And there's a big difference between somebody who can take you to the other side. And I'd call that person a real financial advisor and somebody who should be selling shoes at the mall, but is instead selling financial products because they're really simplistic. The difference between elegant simplicity and simplistic is the hard work in the middle. So hopefully that's helpful.